In this video, we're going to have a look at what sandbox web browsing is and how it can protect you from things like malware. So what is sandboxed web browsing? Well, basically, it just means that your browser is isolated from the client machine. And the way that this isolation happens is by taking the web browser and running it as a container in a data center away from the client machine. This means that the client is never exposed to malicious sites or files, which is extremely important in this day and age. Most of the recent hacks that you see out there on the news, on YouTube, it's usually caused from someone opening a malicious file. As a YouTuber myself, I get daily emails with malicious files attached to them that I have to sift through to see which one's coming from a legitimate sponsor and which one is coming from a scammer. Now, usually it's pretty easy to spot which email is legitimate and which one is phishing, but they are getting better and better with the advancement of AI and scammers using these AI tools to write their emails. So it's a good idea to use an ephemeral sandboxed browser. And that's what I've been doing. I've been using an extension called SquareX, which I'm gonna demonstrate in this video. By the way, this video is sponsored by SquareX to talk about ephemeral browsing and why it's important and to demonstrate their product. And towards the end of the video, I'll sort of give my final thoughts on SquareX because I've been using it for about a month now. And I'll also go over any of the privacy concerns that some people might have. All right, so to get started with SquareX, just head on over to their website. I have a link in the description below. Uh, but once you're on the website, you have two different options here. You can either install the extension or you can just use the web application. So the extension works with any Chromium based browser. So if you're using a Chromium based browser, you can just add the extension. Or if you don't want to actually install an extension, using the web application is good. This is what I use when I'm on a different PC other than my own. So to get started with uh, the extension, you can just go add SquareX to Chrome. I already have it installed here. The installation goes pretty quick. And then you can see that you should have the extension available up here. And you can see we have quite a few different options here. We have a disposable browser, a disposable file viewer, a disposable email address, and then smart integrations. So I'll just go through all these different features and just give you an idea of how I use them. So the disposable browser is by far what I've been using the most about SquareX. And this is the browser that runs in the data center. You can see that they have many different data centers. So these are the places that you can start your browser in. So I'm actually from Canada, but if I wanted a browser started up in US East, I would just click there and I would click start. Now this is gonna give you all the benefits that using something like a VPN would. So if you're trying to access certain websites or test out certain websites, this is how you could bypass things like region restrictions. Now, if we go through here, basically it just says that I have a tab connected up in the United States. And if I want to open another uh, tab here, I can just click here to create one and it's gonna create a tab and I can just start browsing the internet with this fresh session. So I'm gonna go over a few things with this browsing session. The first thing that you'll probably notice is it's a browser within a browser. So you can see I have my original Chrome tabs up top here, but in the disposable browser, I have tabs in here. So this is the actual Chrome browser running in the data center. This is the isolation that they're giving you. The other thing I wanna point out here is in the bottom right, you can have a look at a few things here. The first thing is the session duration. So they give you about 10 minutes for your browser session, and then after that, it self-destructs. Now, when you get to about the three minute mark, you can always extend your session. Now, the reason that they have these session durations is because they want to dispose of your data. Now, the other thing I wanna point out here is they have built-in ad blockers. So you can see ads are blocked. And if you just look up here, it looks like they have uBlock origin installed. So ad blockers are very important for protecting you against spyware, adware, all that kind of stuff. So it makes sense that they have this built in. They also have DNS sync holding, all that kind of stuff. Now, if you want to actually browse, you know, you could go to something like YouTube here and you can see that you can go to YouTube 
And uh, when you actually go to YouTube for the first time, you actually have to search something because it doesn't have any information about you. So maybe we'll just say a popular video. And uh, it looks like the weekend. So you can play that. Uh, I'll turn the sound off because I don't want to get demonetized. But basically, you can see you can stream video from these browsing sessions. Now, another really important feature of SquareX is its disposable file viewer. And if you're a security engineer and you need to have a look at files, this is an indispensable tool for you. So let's just have a look at how it works. So you can see I have this suspicious email come in and it says it's a spreadsheet and it does look pretty innocent here. Now I could just go ahead and open this and take the risk, but instead of doing that, I'm gonna use the disposable file viewer from SquareX. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit download but it's not actually going to download it to my system. So you can see that it's actually loading up this disposable file viewer and it's opening the spreadsheet in the disposable file viewer session. So I haven't exposed my client machine at all here to test out that this is a safe Excel document. I've instead opened the disposable file viewer. It's opened up on that ephemeral browser session in the data center and I don't have to worry about anything here. Now, this is how you can open up email attachments, but I actually do this for a lot of my downloads and I'll just show you how I have it set up. So if you go into the SquareX extension here and go to Smart Integrations, basically this is all the different settings for the features of SquareX. So if we have a look here and if I go to All, you can see that I have the Download Interceptor on. So basically what this means is anytime I try to download something on my system, whether I'm using the SquareX extension browser or not, it's going to stop it and it's going to open it in the disposable file viewer. So let's go ahead and uh, open a link here. So I just pulled up a link on GitHub because it has a lot of different downloads here. And you can see I have these executable files and I also have these zip files. So if I want to deceive with the contents of this zip file without actually downloading it to my system, I just click it. You can see that SquareX has intercepted it and it gives me the option to download it or I can open it in the safe file viewer. So I'm gonna go ahead and open in the safe file viewer and you can see that it's a zip file and I can see all the contents of this zip file and just make sure it's exactly what I expect it and there's no surprises. This isn't a zip bomb or anything like that. So this is one of my favorite features of using SquareX. In the past, I would uh, actually do this through a virtual machine, but that is very cumbersome and this is just a much more convenient way of doing it. All right, so one last feature that I wanna show with SquareX is the disposable email feature. So if you go up to the extension, you can see we have disposable emails and basically this is exactly what it says it is. It is a disposable email address. So anytime you need an email address to sign up for something and you don't want to use your own personal email address, you can use this. So I'm just gonna take this, copy it in, and here is an example newsletter. So I'm just gonna go sign up and I'm gonna paste in that email address and hit sign up. And in just a moment here, we should see an email come through. And there it is. We can see we got an email from the Guardian and you can go ahead and click it and have a look at that email. So really good when you're signing up to those shady sites that you just need access to for a few moments uh, for whatever you're doing, or you just don't want to give your personal email to a website for any reason like that. These disposable emails are really good for that. And at any point, you can always just regenerate your disposable email. So if I've overused this one and it's just getting spammed, I just hit regenerate and I get a completely new email address. So that's SquareX. Make sure to check the description below to get all the links so you can get started with it now for free.
And as for my final thoughts on SquareX, I think it's a really great extension, especially for security-minded people like myself. For me, this completely eliminates the need for a VPN solution like NordVPN, since you have the geographic stuff already built into SquareX, and the disposable file viewer is just indispensable for making sure files are actually what you suspect them to be. Now, one concern that some people might have is if you're doing these disposable ephemeral browser sessions that are run in the cloud, then your cloud provider could be looking at your data. And realistically, this is a risk that comes with using any type of cloud product. If it's not running on your local machine, then there is the potential that the third party could be misusing it. Now, I followed up with the SquareX team and they've assured me that this is not the case. Everything runs as a container that self-destructs within 10 minutes and they have no visibility to it. And they've mentioned that they're also gonna look at getting third-party audits of their system just to assure their users. And to me, that's good. I'll be happy to see those third-party audits when they come out and I'll be continuing to use SquareX just because I feel like it gives me a lot safer browsing habits. Anyways, if you had any questions about anything to do with SquareX or safe browsing, please leave me a comment down below and I'll try to answer your question. And thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.